bitch, I'm that damn good. Smoking on some good, some rosy on the wood. Standing on the shit so you can get it understood. It's pedigree and me because I'm that damn good, bitch. I'm that damn good, bitch. I'm that damn good. Smoking on some good, something rosy on the wood. And bitch, I got the bell so you just get it understood. It's pedigree and me because I'm that damn good, bitch. I'm that. Plus, you know, I'm about to give it that weight. Yeah, she ain't never been like China. I put a splash from referee. I put a ring on the Stephanie. Me and the team is building the legacy, winning the I'm trying to. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, bro. Jesus. Smoke it on some good. Something rosy on the wood. Standing on this shit so you can get it understood. It's pedigree in me because I'm that damn good. Bitch, I'm that damn good. Bitch, I'm that damn good. Smoking on some good. Something rosy on the wood. And bitch, I got the best, so you just get it understood. It's pedigree in me because I'm that damn good. Bitch, I'm that damn good. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. I'm not really sure how this mic work with the phone, so I'm like not trying to get too close because I think it'll kill everybody. Yo. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy. Is it? Is it on? Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm just making sure it's on. It is your boy, the illustrious. <laughs> Let's say that again. Hold on. First of all, my studio is a fucking mess. All right, it's a mess in here. It's a mess in here. I haven't been here for like what two, three weeks. I'm almost positive I just had coronavirus. I'm like. Uh, I'm like 90% sure, but no, I didn't go get tested, and we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it, but it, it feels good to be sitting back here with all of you. I hope all of you missed me as much as I missed all of you, and if you didn't miss me, go ahead and exit stage left. Why are you still here? No, I'm just joking. Can you stay? Can you stay for like 10 minutes? I, I need the watch time. No, don't leave just yet. Don't leave just yet, but I do have a lot of good interesting random topics i don't really necessarily have a topic but i have topics but i don't have a topic firstly i want to say of course i am your host once again the illustrious the illustrious production make sure you put the illustrious dame down i i also want a shirt that says production like i feel like that's my thing production but exactly like put it illustrious dame down i want that right there and of course, before we get started, make sure you all are following the Instagram, csac.don, and at dame.don on Instagram, and just Dame Don on Twitter. I'm really proud of myself. I was able to say that without, you know, reading it off, because it is mine. They're 100% my social medias. And I just want to say, I hope everybody has enjoyed the quick 10 audio check-in. Um, if you're not exactly sure what that is, I can kind of link the intro episode in this video. Be on the lookout for Kyle Rittenhouse 2. Um, of course, it is a little late, but I was sick. Like, I, I legitimately thought I had coronavirus. Like, we're, we're, we're really about to talk about this for real. But, um, and I was still around people, so, like, sorry. Nobody, nobody got sick, though. So, like, that's kind of how I knew. <laughs> Nobody got sick, so that's all I gotta do. But look, Kyle Rittenhouse is coming. Young Dolph is coming. Did the Cookie Lady kill Young Dolph? Did the is the Cookie Lady behind this? We're gonna talk about Young Dolph. We're gonna talk about fucking Travis Scott update. Poor Travis. Travis is still fucking innocent. So I want all of you all to go check out the Quick Ten audio check in. There will be uh, links in this description. Please make sure you all are checking those out. Also, guys, make sure you're liking the video, subscribing, hit that thumbs up button down there for me. I'm actually realizing that this shit actually really does matter. Um, so please hit that thumbs up button if you're watching and you enjoying what you're seeing. Because apparently y'all enjoy what y'all see, right? Unless y'all be fucking lying. <laughs> Which I wouldn't put it past y'all fucking liars. Liars! I did a really good interview with my boy RJ. I was on his podcast, and then he was on my podcast. 
I really enjoyed talking to him. Honestly, I, I almost enjoyed the before and after of both interviews before the actual interview. Um, the interview was just kind of like just a little tidbit of what we actually had talked about. I just really enjoyed, you know, having somebody on, having somebody to converse with about wrestling because typically it is just me. I remember I told you guys a couple weeks ago that I would start doing these business commercials. <laughs> For, for people with businesses, if you're a rapper, if you if you uh, sell shirts, candles, whatever, and you're not cam camera shy, maybe in the next two to three weeks, maybe a month tops, I want to start putting commercials, maybe one or two commercials per episode, and I want to do the wrestling episode since y'all don't watch the wrestling episode, but... I, I want to do like um, one or two commercials with different businesses like that my friends have. Like so, it's a, like a a commercial with a business, but it's like me and all my friends eating basically. Like if I'm gonna blow up off this shit, we all gonna blow up off this shit, and you can go back to the episode and you know order that shit. You feel me? So if you got a business and you not camera shy, I'm gonna start reaching out to a couple people to start sending me like commercials, 30, 40 second commercials. And then I'm going to post your shit. You know, hopefully people come shop with you. You know, tell people, you know, introduce them. I mean, introduce yourself. Introduce your product. Um, I know Milwaukee personally is just full of CNAs and lash techs. Is that what it was? Lash techs, nail techs. I don't know. I Business commercials will start for my friends and people with businesses young and young up and coming entrepreneurs. I don't know why I couldn't say that. Uh, but yep, uh, up and coming entrepreneurs will have the opportunity to go ahead and send me a video for a commercial. Um, and this isn't one of those, but I do want to tell y'all, do y'all smell that? And it's not even lit, but do y'all smell that? It just smells like a, it smells like a beautiful bliss or something like, and I, I think it's Anna Cole. I, I think, I think that beautiful bliss is Anna Cole. Make sure y'all shop. Anna Cole, wait, hold on, hold on, wait. I'm officially a YouTuber, y'all. I'm officially a YouTuber. No, seriously, though. These candles really do smell lit. They smell good as fuck. Make sure you shop Anna Cole. Hand pured. Ugh. Hand poured with the purest love in Milwaukee. Let's go ahead and... I don't believe there's any love in Milwaukee, honestly. But these candles smell really good. So there must be some type of love. Some type of... Some type of something that she put in these candles, but I don't know about no love from Milwaukee. You feel me? I don't know about no love from Milwaukee. Oh. Hold on. Don't act crazy, Nicole. Can you even see it? Just fuck it. Miss Rona almost got me, bro. Like I was saying, I did the interview with RJ, and I really, I started to feel sick that day. I don't know if I told him I was starting to feel sick. I don't think I told him I was starting to feel sick, because I didn't want it to seem like, you know, I didn't want to do the interview. But I was genuinely feeling sick before I did the interview. And, um... I, I don't know what happened. Like, I just felt like I, I, I almost think I had Corona just because like I had all the symptoms, but I had the symptoms they like don't tell you about. Like, I still had my taste and smell the entire time. I had the taste and smell the entire time, but I, I had like the first day I woke up, my body hurt it. My legs hurt so bad. Like, it was just like an indescribable pain. Uh, then I had diarrhea the next day, TMI. Oh, well, I had fucking diarrhea. And then, um, I don't really remember all my symptoms, but, you know, I was just a little scared to go get the, the corona thing. I just didn't want them sticking nothing up my nose. And then also Black Friday was coming up and, and Thanksgiving. Happy holidays to everybody, by the way. I hope you found somebody decent to make your macaroni and cheese. My macaroni and cheese was great. I hope it doesn't look like... We won't even do that. We won't even do that. But uh, happy holidays to everybody. And Thanksgiving was coming up, so I just didn't want to be like the black sheep, you feel me? And nobody I was around got sick, so it's, it's okay, right? <laughs> also, don't think I have been in the studio since I have found my passion for, um, I don't know if I'll, yeah, my passion for rapping. I'm a fucking rapper. <laughs> 
I am a fucking rapper. Can you tell me one thing that I can't do? Because I can't name anything. Maybe, oh, I, I can't really play 2K. Like the, like, NBA 2K. I can't really do that. Um, but like everything else I can do, I can cook, I can, I can, I can, I can, I can do everything. I can do everything. I was going to say I can clean, but I don't really like cleaning. Like I know how, but I don't really, I feel like cooking and cleaning is like something you would say for the next. Let's just go to the, let's just go to the next one. Guys, I have a lot of big changes that I want to start bringing into the Common Sense and Common Podcast. I really want my set to feel bigger. I want the podcast itself to feel bigger as we grow our brand. And of course, growing our brand at this time is our number one goal. My number one goal right now is making sure that Dame Don 100% becomes um, not only a household name, but like a household brand. Like, I want at some point everybody to know who Dame Don is. And that is very much my goal. And I very much see it happening. Not necessarily everybody, but everybody. You know what the fuck I'm trying to say. Really excited about that. I have a lot of good plans in place. A lot of changes I want to make. So there will be some changes that you will see. Not only in the physical set, but the logo, the... I'm not changing the theme song. The theme song is staying. I'm not changing the theme song, but the logo, the set, the the layout, the format. I just want it to be bigger than what it is. Like I have such a vision in my mind of what the Common Sense and Common Podcast is, of what the Quick Ten Audio Check In is. Like if you all could just like take a glimpse into my mind of what I actually want my brand to be. Um, like, you'll understand a little more. And I'm not going to tell you any of my ideas because most of y'all still. Like, I do tell my friends my ideas and stuff like that. But people still. So, I'll be a little apprehensive to give my ideas, to ask help for ideas. And honestly, I feel like a lot of the time, my ideas are a little better. Not all the time. Not all the time. I'm not saying I'm always right. I'm not saying I'm always better at planning things even though i love the way i plan things nobody can really plan things the way i plan things you know what i'm saying ain't nobody really plan what the fuck i be planning you feel me bro honestly i ordered so much stuff for black friday i can almost do like a black friday podcast unboxing is that what you would call that would y'all be interested in seeing what the fuck i bought like do y'all even honestly care Cause it's really just like shoes and I really supported a lot of my friends that have businesses this year. I bought some solo wave. I bought some Anico. I bought some pretty melanin. I really made it a point to support all my friends with businesses on black Friday. Cause I knew I had the intention of spending money with these big businesses. So if I'm going to spend money with these big businesses, I 100% can spend money with my people and I almost ordered Quan whole site, but the nigga ain't got all the fucking colors. And I'm not serious. I need every last fucking color, bro. I know you watching this. I know you watching this, bro. Can you call your call somebody and send them an invoice? We need a 2X in the red, the black, the white. Call somebody. Do it now. Do it now while you sitting here watching me. Call, call up your, your China friends and say, buddy. <laughs> that's actually kind of racist <laughs> just <kidding. laughs> and that's not even asian but i'm serious i need i need all of that i need all of that can we make sure we are able to get those shirts out to me out to the common sense and common podcast so we can rep y'all um speaking of repping y'all this shirt was actually sent to me as a gift from demandy demandy's donut shop company sent me this shirt and for those of you that don't know demandy's is the company of god's greatest creation Mandy. i don't know where that came from but we're keeping it we're keeping it and i'm not gonna go too much into mandy okay it's not it's not a wrestling episode but y'all you know i gotta at least say her name one time mandy I got to hear it one time. All right, all right. Twice. Twice. I heard it twice. Twice. What? What?
what? So All right. guys, I feel like one of my bigger podcasts of the year, not really one of my bigger podcasts, but I've pretty much been looking forward to doing this podcast for like the last three, four months. Um, and that is my 2021 recap of the year. Like, I really walked into 2021 and I really did set out and say 2021 was going to be my year. 2021 was going to be different. And I really felt like for the most part, I achieved almost everything that I wanted to achieve. But we're going to go in full detail about the 2021 recap once we actually have that episode. And so um, you can pretty much expect that at the end of December, it'll be either right before the new year or right after the new year. I'm trying to decide what exactly I want to do for the new year. So that won't really determine that though, because I should be able to record that and drop it ahead of time. Like I should really Truly have no excuse. Speaking of excuses, I know today is Tuesday and I was supposed to drop yesterday and I promoted me dropping yesterday. There's something going on with this goddamn MacBook, okay? I'm not going to Apple every day. I had just got off work. I sat down. I tried to record. It wouldn't let me fucking record. You know what I did? I went and laid down. I went and laid down. I had just got off work. I I, I just didn't have the energy. I didn't have the energy, but I was able to fix it while I was on the clock. You feel me? Because my... My business comes before the business. This is, that's why I don't understand why people say, I can't work a nine to five and own my own business. Why not? Do your shit on their time. Do your shit on their time. And that's exactly what I did. I fixed my computer on their time. And that is exactly why I'm sitting here with you. Because if I wasn't able to do it, I probably wouldn't have sat here till Friday. And speaking of Friday... Um, there's really not been much to cover in the wrestling, so I'm not sure if I'll actually be in studio doing the wrestling episode this Friday, but if I'm not, I will 100% drop an audio, um, like, just like a, like a quick 10, but it won't be a quick 10, it'll just be a common sense and common podcast audio episode, and I, I can kind of just talk about War Games and Charlotte versus Becky and Survivor Series. But honestly, I don't feel like there's really been anything newsworthy that I'm like, oh my God, I need to cover that. Oh my God, um, people need this. If anything, I feel like that more about my Quick 10 topics. And just jumping back into the Quick 10 topics again, make sure you all are checking out the Quick 10 audio check-in. Some of the topics I have coming for you. Kyle Rittenhouse is guilty. Was Young Dolph set up? Is the baby wrong? Was the baby wrong for kicking that lady out of his house, honestly, or is she a leech? We're going to talk about that. Travis Scott update. I feel so bad for Travis Scott, Drake, everybody. I feel so bad for everybody involved, honestly. Even the people that died, the people that were there. I feel bad for everybody, but we'll talk about this on the quick 10. But it just feels really good to honestly be back in studio I didn't really have much to talk about, but the subscribers on my channel have been increasing. The views have been increasing. I see y'all. I check my YouTube every single day. I check the details every single day. So the people that be saying they watching, I can see that you're not really watching. I can see that you only watched two minutes. <laughs> I can see that, you know, only like 15% are watching all the way through. I can see this. I don't know if y'all know I can see this. Like most of y'all probably not even seeing this right now because it's the end of the video. I want to talk about support. You motherfuckers ain't supportive. But no, seriously, I really don't have anything else I want to talk about. I really did just want to come in studio and make sure that I talk to all my people. You feel me? My account looks very inactive and I'm not an inactive ass nigga. I'm active. You too. I'm active. I'm trying to get monetized. I'm trying to get my watch time up. I'm trying to get my followers up. Uh, the quick 10 trying to get my cloud up. You feel me? Like we just trying to get the shit done. And you know, when I make it, all my people make it. That's why I feel like if you're not fucking with me for real, you need to cut me off because I'm going to bring you with me. You feel me? So don't have me out here thinking we friends and we ain't friends because I'm going to bring you fucking with me. And I would hate to bring you up and drop you down. I would hate to do that. I really would. 
But, of course, ladies and gentlemen, I am the host of the Common Sense and Common podcast, the illustrious Dame Don. And my new slogan for the podcast is, and my new slogan for the podcast is, if you're not going to watch the podcast, don't watch me on TV either. <laughs> Post the social science production. We out of here. We out of here. Yeah, it was quick. Yeah, it was quick. I don't care. I don't care. Make sure y'all watch the interview. Make sure y'all watch the quick 10. And I'll be back. I'll be back next week. I'll be back next Monday with some good topics, with some good content. In the meantime, make sure y'all are checking out the quick 10. Hit the thumbs up. Do all that good shit. I'll see y'all when I see y'all, which will be Monday. I promise. I, 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 pinky swear? Pin, Alright. Okay. That nigga cold, dog. I got a cold shoulder for a fuck, nigga. If you put me on all. Got the hammer. I threw an X on the banner. She ain't that throwing that ass at me, but I would not fuck if she bama. She call me Billy like badass. I call her Billy like Jean. I never slack on the fast cash, even the jacket is jean.